Hello everyone, Military Kit Reviews asked me if I could do a video explaining which gas mask filters are safe and which are dangerous. And the short answer is, nobody knows exactly which mask filters are completely safe, but we do know which ones have certain dangers attached to them. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you some of the filters I know for certain are dangerous, and then go over some of the ones where there are questions about them. So here we have a British World War II Mark V respirator. This is a standard issue, my granddad had one of these. And this has the British filters on. All British filters from World War II had blue asbestos in the most dangerous type. So under no circumstances wear one of these masks with a filter attached to it. Um, they had loads of casualties and deaths from people packing the filters in the plants, you know, who died 10 years later from lung cancer and asbestos related diseases. So don't wear any World War II masks as a general rule because they, most countries used asbestos because it worked very well as a filter medium. We also have a German uh, civilian filter here from World War II, um, and again that's from that mask there. Um, these are also filled with asbestos, I don't know if it was blue asbestos in these or white asbestos. This filter is roughly intact, you can see it's actually in very good condition. But um, these would also have asbestos in so don't wear them. Same for the German infantry masks, so nearly everybody who made masks in World War II put asbestos in them because it worked. Now these here are the safe 60mm filters, there's a Finnish M61 filter, this one you can see is dated 1987, and here is a Canadian C3 filter, this one is dated 1982, this is long before, or long after I should say, asbestos has stopped being used commonly in filters. One thing to note is a lot of people say this contains chromium, so it's toxic, and I'm going to argue that filters with chromium in aren't really something you need to worry about, as long as the filter's not actually leaking charcoal. And the reason for that is, the US did a study, and I'll put a link to this in the video description, to find out how dangerous it actually was to have chromium in the filters. You know, would it actually get them to be sued by former soldiers over cancers? And the scientists, there was a lot of them involved in the study, said pretty much no. You'd have to be wearing a chromium filter mask for about 30 years straight, you know, wearing it for at least 50 hours a year to even slightly increase your risks of lung cancers. So I wouldn't have any issue wearing this just because it's such a small risk compared to other sort of things that would happen in your daily life. Uh, it's like exposure, you know, to very low levels of radiation. The chances are it's not going to do anything, so not don't worry about it. But it should be noticed that the British 60mm filter from the light anti-gas respirator, because that was a World War II and just slightly after filter, does contain, contain asbestos, so don't ever wear one of those. And with USM9 filters, I really don't know if they were safe or not, so probably best not to wear one. Now this is where it gets controversial. We have the Russian filters from the Cold War. Now, the one that I've definitely worn a lot of, and lots of people think is probably safe but we're not entirely sure is the GP5 filters um, the green civilian ones and they are on some military issued ones as well these are the small filters lots of people have dissected them haven't been able to identify asbestos clearly I've seen some videos where people said you know lab analysis say there's 1% asbestos or something in there but again I've never seen lots of sources to say with or without and again as long as you can't see charcoal leaking through there, looks like there's a little bit maybe in there, uh, it's normally safe. But as I've said, you know, if you're not sure, don't wear it with the filter or just get a new filter and put it on. And these ones where we think they probably do contain asbestos, this is in the O14 filter. Basically the rule is the bigger Soviet military style filters still probably did contain asbestos up until you know the very modern ones and that was simply because that made the filter work better um, see this one's a Polish one it was made in 1988 but that still doesn't necessarily mean it's safe um, so yeah with these filters it's quite likely and we know for certain the coffee can brown coffee can ones on these German ones did and you'll see some like the military GP5s of the coffee can brown filters they did can contain asbestos because um, it simply was more efficient to use it. Um, and it was like 2% asbestos or something mixed in with fiberglass and paper and other stuff. So again, it's a lot safer to breathe through than say a World War II mask because there's less asbestos and 
it's in a compound so it's very likely to you know very unlikely to leak out but again probably you shouldn't do it shouldn't wear it uh, like I say with any of these masks you can put a new filter on which would be a lot safer than using these but there you go so these are the filters we know are dangerous or are safe as I've said in the video or maybe um, there's a lot of other filters. As a general rule, anything after World War II is safer than anything made during World War II. And the later the date on them, the better. So filters made after the year 2000, I think you're pretty much guaranteed are safe. And I said I'm not very worried personally about chromium toxicity in mask filters because it's been pretty much said in studies that, you know, your chance of getting cancer, you'd have to wear it absolutely loads for years, essentially. It's only a slight increased risk of breathing normal air. So there you go. Uh, hopefully that's answered a few questions for some people. The newer the filter is, the safer. And, you know, just simply ask questions to people who know if you're worried about wearing a certain filter on a mask.